Can you be friends with someone of a different socioeconomic class? My friend is wealthy. Like, three houses wealthy. Her parents are very well off. They pay for pretty much everything. She does have a job and she's in college, so she isn't just leeching off of them. I grew up well off, but our financial situation changed when I was 10 due to my mother's cancer. She died when I turned 18 and my father cut me off. Occasionally he sends me threatening messages on social media. I've been on my own for 5 years now. I'm 21, but I went to college at 16. I've been homeless, I've been in abusive relationships, I've been broke. I'm good with money, but she doesn't seem to understand that. I work 40 hours a week. My boyfriend works more like 60. I'm cutting back my hours, because I'm going to college, but he will be working the same amount. Today her dad dropped her off at my house, because she can't move into her apartment until tomorrow. I offered up my house. It's a cheap apartment, but it's nice enough. We have older carpet, and things generally need to be updated or repaired. It's not falling apart, and we have done the best we can to make it look nice. I spent the past two days cleaning it up, and finishing little projects, to make it look presentable. Her dad clearly disapproved. He didn't want her to stay here. In the past I've had issues with her parents making comments about my living situation not being nice enough, my boyfriend working at a trashy people company, even though he is making dollar sign 40k per year at 20 years old, and how irresponsible it is to have a hobby. I don't really feel the need to impress wealthy old white people. My house makes me happy. I'm incredibly proud of my boyfriend for getting the job he has now. Our shared hobby is our way of bonding, even though it can be expensive at times. I keep a close eye on our budget and I know what we can afford. We'll never be rich, but as long as we have some savings, and we're not on the street I don't understand why I should feel ashamed. Is it even possible to be friends with someone who isn't and has never been poor? This isn't a matter of being from a different class. This is a matter of your particular friend's parents being shit people. There are plenty of rich, privileged kids that have empathy and decency. You can absolutely be friends with them. I'm not sure what to do about this friendship. I grew up with some money, but my boyfriend came from nothing. Single mom working close to minimum wage trying to provide for him and his sister. I'm so proud of him for getting this far, no matter who you are. $40.000. 000 a year at 20 is impressive. I'm broke now. But I'm trying my best. I don't know how to get her to understand that we don't all have the opportunities she does. Seems like there are problems with her and not just her parents then. If you give examples of what's going on with your conversations that are hurtful, we can help you address that. But as it is right now the problem sounds a little vague. If she's being invalidating about your problems you can try not sharing so much about your life with her. Well now I'm pissed at her for another reason. She said something about her mom. My boyfriend said something about his mom. I said my mom is dead. She responded you're not missing anything. You don't need someone always on your ass 24 over 7. You need to understand that the same way you have your issues she might have them too. You may have had a nice relationship with your mom and you miss her. She might not have a good relationship with her parents, which is why she replied that way. For her, she would hope those people would stop meddling in her life. I don't think she meant to hurt you, although it is true she somehow disregarded the way you feel. I have the same problem with a friend. I care about her, but when I complain she always needs to tell me how she has it worse than me in life. I just accepted that some people are always trying to show others how hard their life is and disregard any kind of feelings you have about something. She is a good person in many other ways and I care for her, so I just accept it and avoid complaining about stuff with her. Sounds like your problem isn't with your friend, but with her father, and it's none of his business what you have or don't have. I grew up with money, most of my friends didn't have as much, my grandparents, who rid me, never cared about where my friends lived, or what they had or didn't. I had good friends, who were kind and polite, and that didn't get in trouble, that was all they cared about. It is absolutely possible, I have friends all over the socioeconomic spectrum. Some are barely above abject poverty and others are trust fund kids who would never have to work a day in their life if they didn't want to. We still bond over what common ground we do have. Such as values, 
interests, and even people, befriend the person, and don't worry about judgement from people they are associated with, if they want to return the friendship then great, if the difference is, socioeconomic or otherwise, are too great to ignore then oh well, best of luck there, it is possible though, people can be compatible regardless of upbringing, wealth, and other issues. So her dad sucks, but what does a friend say that is more important? She disagrees but sometimes she says things that are exactly what you would expect from someone raised in that family. I wish she would not tell me half the shit she tells me about how her parents feel about us. It sounds like she's really struggling with coming to terms with having different values than her parents, which may explain her other comment about not missing having a mom. She needs to know you support, that she can have an outlet to process her family issues, but that you are not the best person for it given your relationship with your mom. She probably admires how you have picked yourself up and are already independent as she may be considering breaking from her own source of financial comfort to do the same. Thank you. This advice helped so much. I'm going to try to talk to her one on one. I think you're right about the discomfort around having different values and losing her financial stability. Things are hopefully going to go back to normal. Just chill with your friend. Your friendship doesn't depend on money does it? I mean. It comes up often when she wants to go out but I'm saving my money for groceries or college. Obviously there's a pandemic so it isn't as big of a deal right now but when it's over things will go back to the same old shit. Yeah that is a pretty difficult situation. I guess tell her in those situations. That you just can't. Cause you dot got the money. But be glad to go. A buddy of mine is really poor. Still a high school student. And would always do it. As a result we would always fix the bill. So he does not have to pay full price and just carries as much as he can. I guess maybe try to work something into that direction out. Not an easy case you got there. It's quite possible to be friends with people from all walks of life. Your issue is not that your friend or her parents come from a different socio-economic class. Your issue is that your friend appears to lack empathy. Her comment about your mother demonstrates a profound inability to empathize with another person as does her lack of awareness with regarding to money and spending. May not respect you, your BF, or your life choices does not stand by her principles, or at least the ones she claims to have, when confronted by bad behavior by her parents. She's a hypocrite. I believe so. It just depends on how people are brought up, and whether they're taught to look down on people. Your friend seems fine. Her parents perhaps less so. They will always want what's best for their daughter. And I'm sorry you didn't have that experience with your dad. Your friend's parents should not need to get to know you to accept you. But if your friend is happy and kind to you as she should be then perhaps it's worth letting them in on your life. I personally found it interesting. And I'm impressed with your perseverance and resilience. I don't want to say much else in fear of being patronizing or alike. Perhaps if they know more about you, rather than just face value they may look at the situation differently. Good luck and I wish you well. They also didn't want her to move in with us, so she could work. We have a spare bedroom, and she was going to stay, so she could still work. Her parents didn't approve of the neighborhood, even though it's by far not the worst. It's safe and friendly. Just lower middle class. I'm turning the spare bedroom into an office, slowly, so I'll have a place to do schoolwork that ice and our tiny kitchen counter. I don't even know how to approach this issue with her. So, dad's a jerk. But how does your friend act? Was she grateful and appreciative of your offer? Or kinda like her dad? This isn't good enough. I think it's possible to genuinely be friends with someone of another wealth bracket. You don't really have to be involved with her parents. And if she sticks up for you to them. She's a keeper. But if she is displaying the same attitude as her dad. You know what to do. Nope. No interclass mingling. Stick to your own kind. What are you? A communist. Socioeconomic class your value as a human being. Why would anyone be friends with someone less valuable than them? Slash s. In case that wasn't clear. The answer to your question is yes, but in this situation no. It has nothing to do with their wealth and everything to do with the type of people they are. Absolutely. 
I grew up middle class and my husband grew up poor. It is all about how your friends act. My parents were on the frugal side and we didn't have a lot of stuff, but we had a nice house with a pool and a family vacation every year. They raised us to be humble. I have friends that were raised with more money and some that were pretty poor. I didn't care what their financial status was because they were humble. Nice people. I never spent time with people who talked down on people who didn't have the same things as me. Sit down and talk to your friend. It all depends on if it is a matter of ignorance or a matter of arrogance. You didn't mention anything about how she acts. Only her parents. Let her know her parents comments bother you. And then stop spending time with her parents. You are grown. And don't need to interact with them anymore. If she is a good friend who doesn't act like them the very least you can do is communicate. And work with her. Don't drop a good friend cause they have asshole parents. Her father is a pose. I got rich friends and I'm poor. They are very humble. I don't really feel the need to impress wealthy old white people love that. You're very mature for your age. Keep doing what makes you happy. Money can't buy class. Trust me, my mom grew up poor, but married rich and now she's snobby and not really a good person. I grew up rich as a result, but I'm with someone who grew up in lower middle class and I'm happy. In my country the best university is the public one which is free. So that's a place where people from all backgrounds meet and make friends or find love. I found that in that context it was always a possibility to be friends with different social classes. There's at least a big shared part of your life. But AI also met people from other social classes and other contexts and it proved to be more challenging. Especially when it's people coming from new money. Don't judge your friend based on her dad give her a shot. So, you didn't really talk about your friends and her thoughts and how she feels. It is totally possible for two people from different backgrounds to be friends but everyone needs to be aware of their privilege. Is your friend aware of her privilege? You seem aware of yours and your boyfriend's. Him having a 40k a year job at just 20 years old for example. If your friend doesn't understand why it is highly inappropriate for her parents to teach you that way, then she probably won't be a lifelong friend. I think the bigger question is what does your friend think if she has no problem with it and don't worry about what her parents think. The only power someone has over you is what you allow them to have. I come from a family that probably has similar or honesty more wealth than what your friend's parents do. The majority of my mates are in the lower classes for lack of a better term. I cannot ducking stand people that try and flaunt their wealth like that. You can be friends with good people of any socioeconomic status. You can't be friends with dickheads. Edit. Keep in mind. On the grand scheme of things both you and your mate's family are middle class. They have no right being rude to you at all. I'm sure they just are trying to feel superior as they watch the actually wealthy flaunt all their cash. If you guys are really friends. Then money doesn't matter. Just try to ignore her parents as much as possible. Don't sweat it. Character is more important than money. You nailed it. Don't apologize for anything. And yes, you can be friends with people from a different economic class. But only if they have class. It's not about income or social economic class. It's about human decency and respect for each other. Regardless of status, the most successful people I have met in my life, 45 years, so far, and I'm real successful, were some of the most respectful and decent human beings I ever came across. Treating even janitors and cleaners with the same respect as top salesmen in their company. People either have class, or they do not have class. Some rich people can pretend as much as they want. They are still only a percent dollar sign H-O-L-E-S. Try to gauge your friendship on a strict basis. How do they treat you? How do they treat others? Do you want to associate yourself with people treating others like trash? Also, people cannot choose their families. But at a certain point we can surely choose on how we want to treat others. So if your friend behaves like her father, then I would advise you to save yourself the hassle and get out of that toxic situation. As far as I can see you don't have a problem with your friend but with her parents. Unfortunately we cannot choose who we are related to.
It is completely possible to be friends with people from different backgrounds, especially later in adulthood, when parents will have an ever lesser impact on your lives. Yes but not for her parents it is. If you get cancelled social economic classes don't exist and everyone becomes the world serpent to battle like Thor. Sure with friends. With a relationship it can be a bit tricky. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.